I've done a quick video here just to show you the speed latency of audio in KitKat and Lollipop. I've got my Nexus 5 here and I'm using uh, an audio creation app called Caustic. Um, and you can see I've just got a keyboard above uh, and I've placed a microphone on the table so you'll be able to hear my finger taps and the audio that comes out of the device. So, just setting up a, an audio. You can hear there that there's a decent amount of latency in KitKat. Uh, KitKat and all versions prior to Lollipop have had quite a, a, a terrible latency, um, at least from screen input to audio output. And same goes for this device here. The latency isn't so bad on this app, which is um, the G Stomper uh, analog synthesizer, um, but it's not great either. Now, the trick that some instrumentalists get around is by plugging in a um, MIDI device. So the device that I've got up here is an Arturia uh, Mini Lab, so a small keyboard with a, a number of pots uh, devices uh, and a micro USB cable to plug um, the whole lot into. Um, the latency generally isn't so bad through MIDI, um, but the uh, Playability through MIDI is, is probably still not great. I do particularly love Caustic, and uh, Caustic is available for the iPad, and in fact for Windows 32. I don't own an iPad or an iPhone, I've not tried the latency, but I know the latency in Caustic for Windows 32 is not particularly good either. Um, so it could just be the developer, uh, but it could also be... So you can hear there, there's a tiny little bit of latency. Um, enough to annoy the playability, in my opinion. Uh, it's likely just a little bit worse in caustic. If you have a, a listen, I'll fire it up. Um, yeah, I'll need to unplug the device. i need to unplug the device to, um, to make it work, I think. So let's just exit out and I'll have to, I'll have to recreate. You can see here that the new device is set um, and low latency has also been set. Um, so it just takes a little bit of fiddling sometimes. But if you've got one app that's already been set up, um, a secondary app doesn't, doesn't help. So the best thing to do is to exit out of all your apps, unplug the USB device, plug it back in again, and um, hopefully skip the, uh, uh, the MIDI pairing options. And you can see inside Caustic itself, the pairing will be done there. So here we go. Most people wouldn't think that terrible, um, much better than the screen, but um, MIDI input still has a, a, a little bit of a lag. Now uh, I've uh, come back a, a day later, I've installed the new, um, the new Lollipop, and here's And really, I don't think there's any discernible difference uh, on keyboard input uh, between the old version of KitKat and this new version of Lollipop. Um, go into the, the G Stomper uh, virtual analog. 
Still not particularly good as far as I'm concerned. Um, the latency is, is fairly horrific. Um, but uh, try the MIDI device. Um, I've tried to play with drum backings on, on Caustic and there's still just like a probably a 20 or 30 second milli millisecond delay which in my estimation still isn't close to being sort of playable real live. So a lot of these apps are, are just fine when, uh, when you're programming them, uh, but I, I think uh, any live play is, is probably yeah. difficult. So pulling down the keyboard there, you can see... I'm pretty impressed with this analog um, device, or this analog app. Um, uh, when you get three or four voices, though, it starts to become a little bit overrun because they've they've really had to throw the buffers way down in order to to, to get that latency to a realistic level. But as soon as you add a whole lot of delays and, and reverbs to, to your four voices, it, it starts to really mess up. So uh, on this Nexus 5, it's still not a great musical instrument, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I'm actually playing with my fingernails. You can sort of hear the fingernails there. Um, so I, I think iPad still has it. Um, I think Apple devices and musical instruments still the go. Uh, Android still lagging.